Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're here with the Astros team today, guys, and we've come full circle since we've been off of our break. I think the Astros team was the first team I returned with. I haven't done a Team Select Sig Pack on this team yet, but that's what we got today, so super excited. Not much has changed since the last video that came out maybe a week or so ago, um, but a lot of cards are Black Diamond, and there's a lot of SIGs that I could really use on this team. I'm hoping especially for Jose Altuve, a catcher card or an outfielder, and a starting pitcher to finish out my rotation. Any of those would be really good, and I wouldn't be mad with a bullpen guy either. Uh, the thing about most of my teams though, as is the case, because they're all free to play, I don't have a great increase. So. I'm hoping at least one of these teams like Sig Packs can give me a diamond. Uh, we only have a few left, and that's this team and our Dodgers team. So uh, just hoping that we get a diamond out of one of those. If not, we're just going to have to wait. But this is what the inventory is looking like here. Not as stacked as our last couple of videos on the Blue Jays and on the Texas Rangers team. But we do have five Sig Player Packs here with one special. And then we'll craft based on who we get out of those. Uh, I don't have quite the amount of points. I've, I believe I'm a, a little bit under a thousand short for the Team Select Sig Player Pack. But with the packs that we're opening up today, we should have enough to donate and then get it after we finish opening up this main set of packs like the last video. But enough of me rambling on. We have 13 silvers starting us off as always. Silver player packs have never been plentiful um, as much as they used to be um, in the past, probably like a year ago by now because silvers just don't drop as much or as often as premiums do. And if you guys are wondering how I have so many packs, um, the simple answer to that is just grinding but the more elaborate answer is by participating in all the events playing league mode every single day uh, making sure that you log in every single day and check that all the events are cleared earning points spinning for rewards um, keeping up on social media all those sorts of things so if you guys are wondering how on earth i get like thousands and thousands of packs uh, it also goes, uh, and also a uh, factor in that is I've been playing for years upon end on this game, quite literally. So if you want an answer to that question, that's my answer. Player reserves full, we'll do some special training, and then we'll be right back. All right, I think we have 20 more premium player packs. Let's open the rest of them here. As you guys may have noticed there, I was special training my Joe Morgan on the bench. And that is because I have finished all the special training on my primary cards that are in my lineup and in my pitching rotation. So I'm going to wait and see what we get out of this signature player pack or multiple signature player packs. If we get multiple Astros, that'd be insane. Um, I'm not expecting anything like the last video though, because that was a one in a million thing. I know I said that about the Rangers video earlier in the year and it happened again last video, but you just can't expect too much out of this game, like I said in the last video, otherwise you're going to be very, very disappointed. Team Select, say, or Team Select, I wish these were Team Select Sig Player Packs, Team Select Premiums, three golds and four silvers, five silvers actually. All right, Altuve right there. Montero does have a Sig as well. Uh, McCullers has a Sig too. Everybody here has a Sig except for Brown, Urquidy, Grossman, and Toro. So any of those cards I would be happy to take. Altuve, I'm hoping I'm don't, I don't get a really bad year. If I do end up getting a bad year, I do have a club craft available. All right, we gotta do some more special training. Let's roll it. All right, seven ultimate player packs. My inventory is very cramped right now. We get our first set of diamonds here, first diamonds of the video. It's only one, but We'll take it. We'll see who it is here. Jordan Montgomery, 18 for the Yankees. And speaking of the Yankees, this video is probably going to come out after game six or sorry, game five. Uh, whether the Yankees move on or not to the World Series, I do not know. But I sure hope the Cleveland Guardians can uh, outmatch them and come back from down 3-1. Chances are not likely, but I really don't want to see the Yankees in the World Series. Teams like ultimates here. Three golds, one diamond. Who are we getting here? It's a Carlos Correa 16. I already have one of his cards as a SIG. Uh, it's his worst year granted, so if I do end up getting a better Correa, I, I may end up, if it's his best year, like 2021, pretty sure 2021 is his best year. If it is that year, then I will consider using it in my lineup. But other than that, uh, I'm probably gonna craft any other duplicate Correas. Two teams like Diamond Player Packs here. No Legend Glow, all right. Who are these gonna be? We get Maldonado and Cisnero. Uh, Jose Cisnero, one year card for Cisnero, and Maldonado does not have any signatures, so those are completely useless for this team. Live season team selective diamond, 
I really don't know who's good. Josh Hader would be nice, um, but I'm not sure what his final stat line is going to be like. Who's this going to be? It is the worst Astro of the year, possibly. I may end up keeping this just for laughs. 51 base Jose Abreu. My gosh. Two home runs, 124 average. I think I have a normal card of his, but this diamond, I still don't understand why he's in the game. He's been in the minor leagues all year. That contract was just a abysmal one. All right. 15 diamond player selectives. We're going to do five of these. Just see what we can get here. Any primes would really help out. I don't have a lot of primes in my backups, but I'll take them. A couple Astros, actually. Two Castellanos cards. <clears throat> one 2015 and one 2016. Brian Abreu have a sig of his. And actually a good Hector Neris. I'm going to take the Neris just in case. Uh, he, I don't get a sig or anything of his, but I, I already have a pretty stacked bullpen actually so i don't know if he's gonna make it next set there's a darvish 13 would have loved to have seen that on my rangers team glenn perkins for the twins paddock 20 a pretty decent padres card his 19 is better and then devin williams um who choked in the wild card round this year sorry to you brewers teams i don't mean to rub it in but i can't believe he gave up that home run and was tipping his pitches all right refreshing and no astros there's another adolis garcia that's the second one we've seen ozuna lorenzen uh, I think I got to go with Ozuna here just because of that crazy good power. Can use that for Mentor. All right, three more of these. Come on, Prime or Vintage. Haven't seen a Prime out of one of these on any of my teams in a long, long time. Nothing special out of the first set here. There's an Altuve 23. That's actually his uh, second worst or worst year, I'm pretty sure, by base overall. He didn't play a full season last year. I'll take the Altuve. Um, I, you guys need to see my inventory. I have like... 70 Altuve's. I'm not even joking. There's a vintage uh, Willie Randolph, another Yankee. Uh, so getting kind of Yankees trolled here. Uh, not that I have a Yankees team or anything. I'm just seeing a lot of their cards for whatever reason. Uh, we'll take the Willie Randolph right there because it is a vintage. And uh, I don't want to risk <clears throat> going for another prime or anything in the second one. Boom! Two vintages in a row. I think I might have gotten Tim McCarver recently out of one of these two. Um, might have been the last vintage or special card I saw. A uh, Chris Sale 17, though. That's a great card. I think I'm going to take the McCarver, though. And uh, that's... Okay, that's something special right there. We got two vintages out of two of the five Diamond Player Selective packs. Now we are on to the Sig Player packs here. We should have enough space. We do. I don't have a mileage Sig. We are so close, but I'm not spending stars because we might have a, a, a great increase in the next special shop next month. But five Sig Player packs. We haven't seen a Diamond Sig on any of our teams. Still haven't seen one. I'm hoping on the Dodgers we can finally get one. But here we are, two golds, three silvers, a palindrome pack right here. All five are lined up pretty nicely. Let's go to the middle silver first, the outside silvers, and then let's do the golds. All right, first card in the middle is going to be, ooh, Spencer Strider 23. Epic Braves card, 73 base. Uh, that is one of the top tier starting pitchers for the Braves teams. I am sorry for you guys. And I, I like the card art where they show the back of the jersey too. That is cool. Sorry to you, Braves team. Spencer Strider there. Um, silver card. All right. Silver on the left side. We get... Are you kidding me, right? Teoscar. The exact same Teoscar I have in my backups on my Blue Jays team. So glad I didn't see him on my Blue Jays team. Um, but I just can't escape this guy. He'll, he'll show up once in a while everywhere on any of my teams. Anyway, next silver far right. Guys, that is a new team sig. It's Doug Raider 68 uh, base. Uh, Doug Raider 1970, I should say. 68 base overall. Um, that's a team card, guys. And wow, that's number 21. That That's number 21 of the year. Unfortunately, my shortstop and third base positions are taken up. I don't remember who I have at DH, but I have to see if he's going to fit. I don't know if he's going to be... Uh, a usable card that's the only problem but let's go we got a vintage it could be used as a club craft but we got a one-year vintage team sig i can't complain and at this point whatever happens next is just icing on the on top of the cake that's a great pull all right two gold left can we get any more astros we get a nico goodrum 19 for the tigers uh that is not a good card nico goodrum was on the astros for a brief stint i don't know where he's playing now no idea how he's still in the game um, but that is a gold 65 base overall sig, which is pretty terrible. All right, and final gold on the right. 
uh dodgers max muncie 19 really wish i had this on my dodgers team muncie has a lot of good years but let's go we got yeah another team sig i'm just i'm i'm speechless i'm silent every single time i get one at this point and we still have the special all right we have another chance to get another team sig let's let's do it pop it open what are we waiting for here two golds one silver left to right let's play it simple here first silver oh oh no you gotta why didn't you give me that one two videos ago holiday 73 man oh man that's a beautiful card would have loved that on my blue jays team but that kind of stings it's, man i really wish i'd gotten that one but i can't complain i can't complain guys silver or gold in the middle diamondbacks paul goldschmidt 72 base uh, well, not his best year. Best year is 17, but Goldschmidt has a lot of good good years. All right, and last one on the right. Another giant like last video on the right side. Matt Williams, 94. But, man, Roy Holiday. Really want, I really want to take him, but he's only a silver, and I need to take the gold because I don't have a lot of great increases. Uh, let's go with the best overall, Paul Goldschmidt, right here. Okay, guys, we got a team sig. Let's actually look in our lineup, and I'm going to see where I can fit him, if I can fit him or not. It's going to be really close. Oh, man, I have Morgan Ensberg at third. Bregman playing short. Correa DHing. Ah, this is tricky. Uh, you got to let me know, guys, in the comments section. Do I keep Raider or do I club craft him with Wagner? And we still have the team select Sig to, to craft, and or not craft, but to donate for and open up. So I'm going to lock up Raider. That's a new team Sig. W video so far. I'll be right back, though. We have the team select Sig player pack. All right, guys, just like last time, we have the Team Select Sig player pack now in our inventory. But first, we're going to look over the cards that we need to get out of the collection. So starting off with the batters here, Bregman 19, unfortunately, is not going to do it because I already have Bregman 18. And even though 18 is not as good as 19 by any means, 19 is far superior. I cannot justify this free to play team uh, developing that 19. I would either club craft him or save him for a club craft. Jose Altuve, like I said, any year of his, especially 16, 16 or 17, are gladly welcome here. Kyle Tucker, 23 as well, 73 base outfielder. I would take him in a heartbeat. And any of his other years, for that matter of fact, as you guys also see, her, see here, Car Carlos Correa, 72 base, best shortstop sig on the Astros. It'd be really tough for me to not include him in the lineup because the 15 is all the way down here. And this is the card that I have. It's just brutal, 66 base. But... I would have to make that call. Let me know what you guys think if I do end up getting him. I have George Springer 20 already. A couple more Altuve cards here. Glenn Davis would be really good. Uh, I do need a first base SIG, and he is one of the best first base cards, if not the only and first best. I think he's the only first base SIG for the Astros currently, uh, besides Watson right here. Okay, so he's best out of two. So Glenn Davis would be welcome any, uh, anywhere, anytime, anything, uh, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Morgan Ensberg, I have his prime. This would be kind of like an eh. I take it, but again, it would be a problem because he's third base, and I just got, uh, what is his name? Doug Raider, 68 base. It really make it hard, really make it a sticky situation for me to decide. Jim Wynn, awesome power hitting card. Would take him. Uh, any of these, Bregman, Correa, Springer, no go. Uh, Jordan, his cards aren't high overall. But he has great hitting cards, and I would place him in the outfield. His fielding wouldn't be that bad. I would take Gaddis or, Gaddis or Yiner Diaz. Um, they also added a new catcher card, Brad Osmus. So I'd prefer Brad Osmus, but if I got Diaz or Gaddis, not the end of the world. I could replace my Jason Castro. All right, and there's all that for the batters. For the pitchers, Cole 19. Oh, he's the end game gauntlet right here. 76 base. I have him as a normal, but to get that would be perfect mike scott 86 here wouldn't be terrible i do have his normal maxed out but like cole i would replace him in a heartbeat keiko 15 is good any verlander year is unfortunately off the table because i already have his 19 uh if you guys remember this video from way back maybe over a year ago at this point i got him as a diamond from a regular sig player pack in mileage which was incredible christian javier yes framber valdez yes scott reynolds morton uh mike hampton brad peacock all yes um L lh garcia mccullers even oswald i wouldn't be terribly mad about oswald even though he's not as good as the others uh wagner i already have he's the one that i um pulled out of a regular sig player pack and i already have his prime i don't want to grade increase him he's in my backups right now i already have doug jones as well davinsky montero presley sambito gregerson 
Abreu I already have, but any of those guys that I just mentioned there are good. Graveman and Neris and this last Presley as well. So that's the rundown. You guys see what is on the table. You guys know what I need, what I don't want. And if we do end up getting something, uh, putting, in a, putting us in a sticky situation, I may end up crafting this video. Let's just see. Team select Sig. Houston. Picking the right team here. All right, let's do it. Diamond, please. Not a diamond. All right. It is a silver. No peeking. We're doing the same thing again. No look strat. It's worked every time. Can it work again? Three, two, one. If this is Altuve, I will run out of the room in happiness. Oh, that's even better. Holy cow. That is the best Keiko. I, I, my heart's racing right now, guys. I'm almost sweating bullets. That is awesome. Guys, the luck is incredible right now. My gosh. My goodness. Keiko 15. Oh, man. I have his prime. Dang it. Man, why did, why did you gotta make it hard, Com 2? Again, I duped someone to have the prime maxed out already with a eh, end game set. Man, this this Astros team has turned into a little bit of a frustration. I was so excited, and now I just remembered I have Keikel's ah, his prime. Ah. Okay, okay guys, here, here's the situation. I have three Astros cards that aren't grade increased yet. Raider, Keikel, and Wagner. What would you guys do? Me personally, I'm thinking about crafting. <clears throat> Either Raider or Keikel, but I don't know who I should craft. Comparing Raider to Ansberg here, Ansberg is the better card hitting wise. Um, he's a third baseman, he's a prime. But either way, I'm gonna have to replace a prime in the lineup. Or a Sig. Or I can just craft one of these three together. Because a Wagner, I already have his prime. Keichel, I already have his prime. And then Morgan Ensberg, I have his prime. But Doug Raider can't go in unless um, Ensberg's out. <laughs> I was so excited for a second there. And now I'm just like, uh, what's going to happen now? Well... I have a sticky situation on my hands and I will need your guys' help. So leave a comment down below. What should I do with the new team SIGs? If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, hit share and subscribe. Feel free to check out the other MLB 9 innings YouTubers in my description box down below. They make great MLB 9 innings content. I know you guys would enjoy those videos and they would really appreciate your support. Feel free to also follow me on Instagram, Reddit and Discord. Those links are in the description box as well. And with all that said and done, that's going to be it for me today. I have another headache now. I was so excited, hyped, and I totally forgot I had Keiko. But until next time, have a great rest of your guys' day. God bless you all. Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next video.